In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add anchor links to pages to jump between sections in pages and also how to jump from one page to another and go to a specific part of a different page. So this is the example of on a single page. It's a really long blog post. It's all lorem ipsum. It's not a real blog post. And these links right here link to various places, headlines and paragraphs. So if I click on how we found Waldo, it takes us to the part of the page that starts with how we found Waldo. I'm going to show you how to create that. Then I'm also going to show you how to create a link on a different page that links to a specific section of this page. So if I click on the button Discover Waldo's Last Name, it goes to our sample page to the section What's Waldo's Last Name, which is halfway down the page. I'm going to show you how to create both of those things in this tutorial. I'm also going to tell you at the end how you can do this with a plugin, a free plugin. If you're doing table of contents for lots of blog posts, that's going to be what you want to check out because that'll make your life a whole lot easier. I'll tell you about that at the end of this video. I've got a tutorial dedicated to that one as well. But it's important that you also know the manual way because you might just want to do one-off links like this somewhere and then have table of contents on your site elsewhere. So to get started, the first thing we have to do is go to edit page. And here's our list. We want to highlight whatever you want to link and click on link. Inside of this little toolbar here where you can only search for pages or add a URL, we're going to add a hashtag and I'm going to write in the name of the link. In this case, where's Waldo? Apostrophes are not allowed. So just numbers, letters, and dashes, no special characters. And I'm going to highlight and copy everything aside from the hashtag and then I'll hit enter. Now we have a link here, but the link goes nowhere. It's just a hashtag with a phrase that we can see right here. The hashtag, if you're familiar with CSS, you'll know what IDs are. So at wherever we add this ID, that's where this anchor link is going to jump to. And just like IDs in CSS, IDs for anchor links, we can only do one per page. Because you can imagine if you have the same ID here, this link will be jumping to two different places. It'll probably just pick the first one and never jump to the second one on the page. The first one being the first one that appears as you scroll down. So you want to make sure the Where's Waldo, in my case, the example here, that it's unique for every single one of your anchor links on your website. For sure on the page, but ideally for your whole website as well. So this is the heading we want to jump to. On the right-hand side, when you click on the block, under Advanced, we have HTML Anchor. This is where we're going to paste in what we just copied, Where's-Waldo. This matches what we added to this link. And before we save this, we're going to add two more to each one of these links as well. So let's highlight this link, hashtag, how we find found Waldo. These IDs can be whatever you want. I prefer to make them the name of the link because that makes more sense to me. It's also easier to find. It's just easier in a lot of ways. Come down where we want it to go. Paste it in here. And the last one, highlight it, add a link, hashtag, what's Waldo's? Last name, no question marks allowed either. No special characters inside of this anchor. Scroll down to here, advanced, put it in there, paste it, update. Let's view the page. If you like this video and you find it helpful, this is a great time to tell me by subscribing and clicking the bell button so you don't miss future videos. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. Now let's get back to it. Now I click on Where's Waldo, jumps me down to Where's Waldo. If I click on how we found Waldo, jumps down to there. And if we click on what's Waldo's last name, jumps down to there. If we want to jump to a paragraph instead of a heading, let's see how we do that. Let's edit this page. Let's remove the anchor link to that one. And this is going to jump to, actually, you know what? Let's just add a new one. Jump to a paragraph. This could also be an image. Jump to whatever you want. So I'm going to make the hashtag link again, or the ID. Jump to a paragraph. These can be named whatever you want, as long as there's no special characters. Now I'm going to scroll down to a paragraph, the paragraph I want to jump to. Let's make it this one right here. Go to Advanced, paste it in there, Update, View Page. Now if I click on Jump to a Paragraph, it jumps to that paragraph. Now there might be cases where you have to use HTML, especially if you're using the classic editor. So let's go to Edit Page again. I'm using the Gutenberg block editor, as you can tell. But inside of the classic editor, you have a visual tab and a text tab. When you switch over to the text tab, it looks something like this. It has HTML tags. And inside of any HTML tag, you can add an ID. 
So if we add ID equals two quotations to open and close, then I go back in between the quotations and I type in jump to here for a new one. It's a new example. This is our hashtag that we entered in the URLs. So then we copy this and let's just add a new link up here. Call this jump via HTML. I realize I'm breaking my rules here because that's not the same, but that's okay. We know what we're doing. Add a hashtag in the front, jump to here. And now that's gonna jump to this block right here. And this block has to stay as HTML. We can't just switch back to the visual version inside of Gutenberg and inside of the classic editor. When you're on the text tab, you can switch back to the visual tab, no problem, but not in Gutenberg. So we have this ID in here. This could be again in a paragraph tag. This could be in an image tag, almost any kind of tag. Let's update that and view the page. Now, if I click on jump via HTML, it jumps to that paragraph. Now as an added bonus, we can also jump to other pages and go to specific spots in other pages. So now we added all these anchor links here, I'm going to actually add one of these anchor links to a different page. And then when we click on it, it's gonna to go to this page and jump to the specific spot. Let's go to edit page. Let's take what's Waldo's last name. Let's copy this anchor. And now I'm gonna to go to a different page. Let's go to the About Us page. For the title, we're gonna type in here, uh, discover. Waldo's last name. And for the link, now the way we create the link here is a little bit different. We need to add the URL of the page we're jumping to, which is sample page on this site. So let's find the page, this is it right here, sample page. And we're gonna click the pencil to edit it. And we're gonna add hashtag and the anchor text that we created on the other page for that location. And our link looks like this. Let's click on update and see how that works. Click on this button. It goes to sample page, hashtag, what's Waldo's last name, and Bob's your uncle. There we go. We're right at that location. If you want a different one, let's uh, see this one here. Jump to here is the anchor text. Let's copy that. Let's just update this to that one just to prove to you that it works. Go to edit page, pencil, jump to here for the anchor, update, view the page again. Click on here, and now we're jumping to the jump to here location. And that's how we add anchor links to jump between pages. And I promised you as well that there's a plugin that can do this. The plugin's called Easy Table of Contents. I have a tutorial dedicated to that plugin and how it works and how it can make your life super easy if you're making a lot of these anchor links. It's also a free plugin. If you wanna see a tutorial on that, it's on the card up above in the description down below. So check that out if you wanna make your life easier. And this video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. That playlist is all about getting up to speed with WordPress if you're new to WordPress. There's a link to that playlist right up here in that card. Click there to watch the whole playlist or click down here to watch a video that shows you how to create jump links and add them to your menu systems. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.